How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews, back with a little bit of a EQ haziness in the form of their Wavelength India Pale Ale. Actually, I don't know if it's a hazy. Could be clear beer for all I know, but it's an India Pale Ale. It's from Equilibrium. I'm gonna take a shot in the dark, say it's a hazy. This comes in at a whopping 6.5%, so, you know, not too crazy. Middletown, New York. Uh, this was canned. When was this canned? Four days ago, so it is way too old. And uh, yeah, that's that. I actually really dig this label. Um, I dig. I liked Equilibrium's original labeling um, for their cans, and then they kind of got a little bit weird for me, like a little bit. I don't know. This wasn't my style, and now they're kind of gravitating towards this minimalistic kind of approach when it comes to cans, as you can see here, and it really does work for me. So I really do kind of dig that. Um, yeah, yeah, done, done. I'm getting like a huge pithy orange thing from this from a distance. Um, yeah, you can look at that. Just a soft haze, not too crazy. I mean, it definitely kind of at an angle, I can kind of see through the bottom of the glass and kind of get it, you know, color and shadows, uh, from stuff. So soft haze to it, almost like a soft pale ale haze more than a uh, regular kind of full on kind of New England style IPA haze. It looks like it's going to be. <sighs> for lack of a better term, a new school, old school, new school, if that makes any sense. Basically, like the old school hazy pale ales before haze went crazy uh, kind of haziness to her. So, yeah, nice rich color. It's good nose. OJ. OJ all day. A non-overly sweetened, very pulpy, like they accidentally left a little bit too much kind of rind in the pulp kind of OJ to it. Uh, nothing overly sweet. Orange for days. There's really not much else to it. I mean, you can sit here and kind of talk about variances in oranges, whether it's, you know, kumquat or fucking, um, you know, uh, an actual orange or a blood orange or stuff like that. No, it, it's all the citrus family on the orange end of things, kind of doing a whole bunch of down and dirty, juicy haziness. Let's dive in. Cheers. Yeah, you can just drink 85,000 of these. Get in real big trouble because it's 6.5. This is oddly enough. This is really um, reminiscent of what I remember original Photon being, uh, which was their sub 5%. They still make it. You know, palettes change, people change, ingredients change, batches change. So I'm not going to sit here and be that person that says Photon is different. Um,. But this reminds me very much of OG Original Photon, uh, the beer that originally came and got me all hot and bothered about the Equilibrium when they first opened. It's gobs and gobs of OJ. A nice, sharp, yet not overpowering bittering that does come off like a little bit like almost like a caramelized kind of citrus rindiness. So it's not even going to like a green portion. If anything, it's a little bit kind of slightly kind of resinous kind of green to it but it more just leans into that orange kind of elevates that orange makes me think more of that kind of rindiness on top of that fruit juice kind of orange bits and pieces it's only i shouldn't even say it reminds me of oj photon it reminds me of photon if it was a beeped up version of photon basically if they took photon from whatever whatever it is i believe it's like five percent maybe on the nose and brought it up to like six six and a half percent because it does have a little bit more aggressiveness to it. But it's a really tasty beer. I mean, I expected it to be hasty. I haven't had uh, Equilibrium Hazy in quite some time. So their lower ABV hazies um, have always done me proper. Their hazies in general have always done me proper, to be perfectly honest with you. They probably make some of my favorite kind of uh, triple and large ABV kind of hazies. Um, so, yeah, just tasty stuff all around. I mean great stuff here's the odd part about it you know we're dead set in the middle of this um you know covid19 coronavirus kind of self dis distancing um self quarantine kind of thing and um i went to the brewery to pick this up because i went to a state park that was only like about 20 minutes away from there so i was like okay i'll roll by the brewery uh pick it up great experience buy online you know kind of touchless pick up the whole nine but they've been doing a lot of shipping of their beers this has actually hit distribution, not just in New York, in Jersey, which is kind of weird. I didn't think I'd see Equilibrium without an announcement hitting distro in Jersey. Um, they did a soft drop of some cans maybe about a year or so ago. 
Um, so basically what you can tell is we're transitioning to the last part of the video, which I typically talk about is one of the better hazy pan levels I've had as late. Yes, it is. It's up there too because it doesn't get overly coyly sweet. There's not a ton of residual sugar. It's a sweet beer, but there's enough bitterness to balance it off. It's more of a drinking beer for me, oddly enough. I don't think that bitterness would weigh heavy on my palate. At the same time, be impactful enough for me to be happy. So it is damn tasty. Value and availability, that's what I was getting to. You can actually have this, at least now you can. Hopefully I'll, I'll post this video over the next week or so. But in these times, the beers can be had. So uh, I know they're shipping all across New York and they're shipping in uh, District of Columbia, DC. And this particular beer I've seen in several different locations, district-wise, not actual seen myself, but know people that have purchased. So take that for what it's worth and leave you with it if you like what we like this. If you like New School Haze, you aren't afraid of a little bit of bitterness. You like chuggability, drinkability, and just way awesomely made. Kind of mid-range ABV, hazy pails. IPAs, I should say. It's kind of flirting the line there. Anyway, if you like those kind of beers, you'll like this one. So there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers. If you want to check me out doing the social media stuff, beer massive. If you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a nice little hazy right now. And hopefully see you next time. Cheers.